Jank Odo moment. We restored peace. The guy, the, the war against Gygas is over as we got in text bubble. Uh, right outside the, um, it's a little cave that we were still in the past. And then, uh, kinda Jeff and Jeff is right here actually with his dad. Dr. And Donuts. And then Pooh went up to, went back to Dalam because he has to uh, share the experience with this country, which is pretty cool. So that's just uh, Paula and Ness, or Ness and Paula. And I'm gonna, we agreed to escort Paula back home, but I wanna pick up some of these items here. There's a letter from the kids inside. Ness takes it. Okay. And then there's another item. There's a present, Ness and Paula's present. There's a letter from Mom inside. Ness takes it. And here's the last present. And Ness opened the present. There's a letter of Tony, for, from Tony inside. Paula takes it. Okay, so let's read some of these letters and stuff. So like, let's read the letters of the kids first, then the ma then letter from mom, and then the letter from Jeff. I mean, not Jeff, but Tony. You is okay. Dear Paula, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine too. I fine. I fine too. So are me. So are me. Me also. Me okay. Please come back and play with us again at the Pole Star Preschool. Oh yeah, one more thing. Bring us some presents if you have any. Sincerely, your friends at the pre at the Pole Star Preschool. Okay, and let's read the one from our mom. Okay, um, dear Ness, how are you? Since you left home on your journey, things have changed around here. For example, I don't have as much laundry. Also, we don't seem to eat steak as much as we used to. I heard that you defeated some evil, some universal evil character. What was it? Googie or something like that? I think that was the American's, American name for, um, in Mother 1 of the final boss. Like, it was similar to Googie. It sounded like the same. It rhymed with Googie, I think. Yeah. Um, well, that sounds like, that sounds really great. I want to hear all the details, so hurry home, okay? Tracy King and I are waiting for you. Love, your mama. Okay. And finally, let's read the, the letter from Tony, I guess. Dear Jeff, everything's really good here going great here. I wish I could have gone with you on your adventure, even just part of the way. But instead, I'm sitting here, waiting for you in winters. I want to see you again as soon as possible. I can't wait to see your cheerful face. I bet your glasses are dirty. If you come back, I'll clean them for you. But like I said, I'm waiting for you. Yours truly, Tony. P.S. Don't show this letter to anyone. Okay, well, we read it. The whole, everyone who's watched this video of mine on YouTube knows and has read it. Or I've seen at least. So yeah, let's um, walk back to Tucson. And I'm not going to use PSI Teleport Beta or Alpha. I want to actually just export uh, Paula home and just spy for it and without any like, psychic powers, you know. That's good. And you'll notice that like, there's no more enemies because again, the war against Gygas is over, so it's all peaceful. Things around Eagle Land, everywhere, kind of kind of have a different feel now and different kind of look too. Things may, slightly may have changed in the dialogue too, which I'll explain, which I'll show off a little bit in this part when we get to that, when this when we get to that certain section, I guess. So here's the peaceful rest valley. Oh no, this is um not the peaceful rest valley. Dang it. <laughs> That's okay though. Let's go down this way. Let's go down this way. Yeah, I have to go downwards. And it's very quiet. I, mean, I don't think there's any music playing right now. It's just like the. I just enjoy the view of like the water and the grass and everything. It's kind of cool. It's all peaceful and stuff, which is nice. Yeah, it's a little bit of a walk, but it's okay. It's a nice little walk. And here we are. Here's another transitional area. Nice. So I'm almost done with this game actually. I think there's only gonna be like a couple more parts after this really. But I've really enjoyed this let's play so far. And I've just enjoyed it so much. I've always wanted to play through the, the you know, Earthbound fully through at least once and now I have done that really. That's really cool. I really recommend this game to anyone who likes RPGs. And if you, even if people who don't like RPGs, this game makes fun of RPGs. And it's just the witty dialogue and the gameplay, I just really like it a lot. Yeah. I know Matt's, Matt Pistolward has um, beaten this game too. Way before me though. <laughs> uh, Sam though to be a C is uh, not that far in this game, but he wants to play more of it. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully he gets a chance to like play through all of it because it's a fun game. It's nice. I think this is the way we get over here. Nope, okay, nope. Of course, that's the dead end. 
trying to get out of this part. I think we're in three now. So, yeah. Hey, there's like calming music. It's really nice. It's like the player can finally just relax, you know, at this, finally at this game. Uh, after beating this game, pretty much after being the final boss. Which is nice. Here's, um, the underground, or not the, the little street, street tunnel, or whatever. Pretty nice. This is very nice. It's just walking, we're walking, we're walking. It's fun. Eco Land is pretty peaceful right now, obviously. We're almost to Tucson, actually, so that's good. We've almost fully escorted Paul all the way home, but not yet. We still have a little bit to go. I don't think I don't think there's any cars anymore. Is there? I think there's gotta be some cars though. Seriously, that would make sense. There's Apple and Apple Kid and Orange Kid's uh, house right there. Here's the post star preschool. Ness, thank you for escorting me home. There was something I wanted to tell you, but I've forgotten it. I'm sure I'll remember it by the next time I see you again. Well, I guess this is it. Goodbye. Uh, so long. See ya. Bye. I think it, yeah, I think she wanted to tell Ness that he kind of, she kind of like liked him and stuff. It's kind of obvious by that like goodbye, how she said goodbye and everything. Yeah. But I think, I'm pretty sure that's what it was, like she wanted to tell her how she felt about him. Yeah. So after that we can just, um, leave Tucson and go back to Onet. Or Onet, because we need to see her mom and everything. It's been a while since, well, it's been a little bit since we've seen our mom, Tracy and King. Not too terribly long though, it's like when we went back to um, Wynette to get the meteorite piece, this is the last time we saw them really. I guess I thought that was the transitional thing, oh well. Oh man, I'm losing my way here, I don't I think I was on the right track with going to the far left or something. There we go. Let's see if we can find it though. I think it's the far th further to the left or something. There we go. There we go. This is where we need to go. To get back down at. Or one at. Dang it, I'm so not used to saying one at. Jeez. This is some great music, I like it. Okay, let's go to the police station real quick. If you remember, this guy, the police chief was having, um, Captain Strong was having trouble getting through Earthbound because, uh, he had trouble, um, because he's playing as, like, the policeman, I guess, in the game, and that's always beating the policemen and stuff in battle and stuff. Let's talk to him again. So you traveled all over the world. I bet you didn't meet anyone stronger than I, did you? I know that you don't, didn't. Wah ha ha ha. Well, I, I beg to differ. There's a lot of people stronger than you. So like, if you actually stay at the, um, uh, one at hotel. Actually, I need to withdraw some money, actually. For some big thing I wanted to show off, actually. Yeah. Let's just do that real quick. Okay. Our McTella machine, please. Okay, let's see here. Um, let's just draw like $10,000, I guess. Okay, cool. Yeah. So you want to stay in there at this one night hotel. Welcome to the hotel. Welcome to hotel one night. One night stay will cost you $35. Check the stay, yes. A lot cheaper from when we had to pay like hundreds of dollars to stay a night. <laughs> Plus we had more party members too at the time. So yeah. We wake up all fresh, rested, and ready to go. 
Good morning, here's a free copy of the morning newspaper. Here's today's headlines in the Onet Times. Onet Police Off Chief finishes Earthbound asks, where is the sequel? <laughs> the sequel won't be coming for like another 15 years or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> okay. And I think there's one other thing I want to show off. I'm trying to find that certain house though. Frank isn't back in that backyard yet. Oh, okay. I guess he moved places. Oh yeah, I think Pokey's dad and his family is actually in the cafe shop in Forside and uh, same with uh, I think Dr. Andonitz might be in the same cafe. So that's pretty cool. Trying to find um no, I'm just trying to I'm trying to find like an orange house, but I don't know if I can. I think it just has a person saying like I finished Earthbound or something, you know? Right, I think you talked to the person that's she they originally said I can't remember if it's he or she, but I think it was a she. She said like I wonder when uh, Earthbound's coming gonna come out and then her her new dialogue after you beat the game is like I finished Earthbound. Yeah. Something okay, I think this is where I need to go over here. Nope, I guess not. Okay, I think it's more towards her house because I want to buy that house for seventeen uh, seventy five hundred dollars. So like at the beginning of the game I didn't have enough money. But now we do have plenty of money to buy it, so I wanna see if I can get it. You know, buy it and stuff. So I'm gonna have to go up near her house some more actually. Okay, so I finally found out where I was supposed to go. It's just like, if it'll fit a help you, just go to the Onet Hospital and in front of it, just go walk to the left. Because this is where the house we can buy for $7,500. And, uh, I want to show it off actually. So yeah, let's talk to the guy. Doesn't this house look good? <laughs> you can buy it for only $7,500. Uh, it has an ocean view and the sights and the sun's inside beautiful. Folks say, ha, folks should have a place of their own. Do you want to buy it? Sure, why not? Thank you. It's all yours now. Take some time and relax. Thanks. Let's go inside of it then. But look, it's it's missing a wall. As you can see right there, you can see the, the there's the ocean view, but you're missing a wall. You got a spring bed, which is not in good condition. The the couch looks half decent, but um, yeah. Oh, I didn't know you'd pop up there. Wow, okay. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photograph genius if I don't say so myself. Okay, give it instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Fuzzy pickles. Okay. Wow, what a great photograph. It's always, it always brings back the fondest of memories. Cool. And then there's four boards missing too. Jeez. I didn't mean an accident. I meant to go to the drawer, to the dresser. Okay, yeah. You found the little magazine. Are you ready? Are you going to read it? Yes, of course. My Secret Life, Chapter Three, story from the previous chapter. I was neither a murder suspect nor a target for an international spy organization, but I drove a car down the Jersey Turnpike at eighty at eighty miles per hour. A police officer pulled me over and asked for my driver's license. He said I was going twenty miles per hour over the speed limit. I instantly pointed it to my wife and said, yeah, I'm in a hurry, my life's my wife's in labor. Fortunately my wife was actually fortunately my wife actually had a big stomach. I hope he'd let me go with that the six years so since it's an emergency, I'll lend you I'll I'll lead you to the hospital with my police car, he said. No, it's not necessary. Why not? asked the officer. Um well, let's get going, said the officer. No, no, no we can't this baby is a demon challenge. Demon child. Okay, yeah. So there's that. We be, we bought the house. It's pretty cool. So yeah. Let's make our way back up to our house, though. So yeah. Making our way back down. Rocking ground. I don't even know. Making my way downtown. 
I don't know. I don't know the lyrics to this song that much. I don't know that many lyrics to that song. Can't remember all of them. Which, yeah. Oh well. Let's just make our way back up to the house. We've had a long journey and we went, we went near a rest step at our house and have fun. And see our mom, our sister, and our dog again, basically. <laughs> oh yeah, that's Nessa's house over there. Cool. So yeah, let's go inside. Wow, you become such a strong young man. I'd like to hear all about your stories, but I want to, but I don't want to annoy you as soon as you walk through the door. After all your, ch all your ch 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 chats will with people you might you you met on your adventure are finally over. Please come back here. The photo man brought an album by. If, I'd like to look at it with you. Okay. Other dogs have figured it out. Other dogs haven't figured it out yet, but I know th that you guys saved the world. Nice. Let's visit Tracy, I guess, over here. Here's Tracy. Oh, goody, my brother, my brother is back. You got a lot of catching up to do with your schoolwork. Hayuk? Hayuk? Uh, if you have any problems with your assignments, I'll help you. Don't freak, don't get freaked out. Did Excuggers Press, my old company, help you? I've saved some money, so we'll do some the lunch thing sometime. You also got a new girlfriend. Your adventure must have been pretty good. You need me to help with your any of your other than your homework, schoolwork. Nah. Okay, just so you can relax now.